In response to another brutal hate crime, the stabbing death of an Ecuadorian immigrant, the guardian angels take to the streets of Pachog. 37-year-old Marcela Lucero was attacked last month, according to police, simply because he was Hispanic. Eyewitness News reporter Jeff Begay caught up with the guardian angels in Pachog and joins us with details. Jeff? And Shade, this was their first night in Patchog. The Guardian Angels, a small group of them, drove from, Man from Manhattan to walk the same streets where just a month ago the 37 year old victim died. They made headlines patrolling New York City's neighborhoods, not for marching through the streets of small towns. But on this night, the Guardian Angels have begun patrolling in Patchog a month to the day that Ecuadorian immigrant Marcelo Lucero was murdered in what police say was a hate crime. No one should go through what he went through, those final seconds of his life. Lucero was stabbed to death. Prosecutors say he was singled out by a gang of teenagers who were targeting Hispanic victims. The Guardian Angels say they are here to help minorities who they say feel in danger. The murder and the protests that followed exposed the fault lines of what some believe is a racial divide in Patchogue. So am I irritated that everybody thinks Pat Petchog is a racist community? Yes, I am, because it's not. But some residents believe there is a problem here, and they welcome the help. Pain comes back when you come yeah. back here. Yeah, all the time. Jose Lo Lucero is the victim's brother. This is a really good thing, you know, even it can be for a little while. But not everyone is convinced the guardian angels are the answer. In my opinion, we don't need them. As they walk the streets night after night, they say they will be here as long as it takes to make a difference. Hello, kids. Hi. 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 And tonight, Suffolk County Executive Steve Levy released a statement saying that he admires the dedication of the Guardian Angels, but he added that he has full confidence in the Suffolk County Police. We're live in the village of Patchogue. Jeff Pagase, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.